Hi guys, hope you're well and welcome back to my channel. Today I am sharing with you all my evening cleaning routine. You guys went crazy for my morning cleaning routine that I uploaded a few weeks back. So I thought I would share with you all what I do in the evening and generally I use the evening to prepare for the morning to give me a more easier task of a morning to get the kids out, get them ready for school and just lead me to have a really, really good day. This video is also in collaboration with one of my good friends, Lara. Lara is absolutely lovely. She is a mum just like me and she has lots of similar videos to me. She does a lot of Primark hauls and try-ons which are fabs. If you love those, you should definitely check them out. She has a lot of minimalism videos, cleaning videos, so I'm sure you'll love those. She's absolutely lovely. So she is also going to be sharing with you her evening routine. So if you want to check it out, after you watch this video, head on over to her channel which I'll link in the description bar below for you. And if you're new around here, hello, welcome. My name is Ellis. I'm a mum of two boys. I love all things on this channel relating to hauls and cleaning and lifestyle, home decor, parenting. So if you love those types of videos, I'd love for you to click the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. So guys, I'm going to jump straight in. So guys, here it is. Now, I assure you I never do any pre-cleans on my house ever. And this is true mum life right here at its finest. Although I generally have a nice tidy house, at the end of the day, when days like this have happened, my house just goes to pot. We have been in and out the house today. I've had appointments everywhere. And this is the chaos of after dinner. Dinner time happened a little bit later today. So obviously I wasn't as routined. And because I was in and out of the house, the dishwasher wasn't empty for me to load it up. We've been doing a lot of garden work and things like that. So the hallway has become an absolute mess. The boys are still awake at the moment. They're just playing in the living room. It's a bit later today though, as dinner was done a little bit later. So I won't get Clayton to tidy up. I'm gonna do it for him. Daddy's actually gonna put the boys to bed, but sometimes I juggle doing all this in between. And normally Clayton would tidy up his own toys, but I've got washing and all sorts that needs to be tidied up. There are shoes everywhere. So I'm gonna jump straight in. First things first, it's been one of those days where a glass of Prosecco is most definitely needed. I must almost mention as well that when I filmed this intro in true mum lifestyle, Clayton ended up being really ill. So I didn't actually film my evening routine on that day and I actually filmed it another day, a couple of days later. Hence why I'm now wearing a different change of clothes. But to start off my evening routine, I generally just go around and try and tidy up as much as possible. So I'll clear all of the work surfaces as much as possible and get everything kind of a little bit cleaner and easier to work with got the feeling from the start you might be the guy who break my heart hello hello even though i took a risk it is worth the while for just one kiss i know i just know it caught up in the moment wanna spend every second Once the kitchen's done, I head on into the living room and give it a good tidy up. I like to do this before I actually finish cleaning the kitchen, just because I generally find that there's cups and bottles, bits of washing, the odd plate, etc., etc., <laughs> that are kind of all lying around. And so this way, if I tidy up the living room, I know there's nothing that I'm gonna miss when I do the final kitchen clean. So obviously I'm just picking up all the toys, sorting out the washing, all the spare cups. Somebody asked me how I managed to keep Parker away from all of the bits and bobs that are lying around my house, like my delicate items, such as my lanterns and things like that. Um, the answer is I don't. I did manage to, but recently he's become a lot more inquisitive and this is part of my daily evening routine now, tidying up the mess that he now makes. 
I also just wanted to point out that my curtains have been open today. However, this afternoon I had to shut them again as the sun was shining brightly down into our living room. And at the moment our garden isn't done so I can't open the doors to let in any air to cool it down because Parker likes to crawl right outside. So obviously the only way I can keep it a lot cooler is by opening the windows and shutting the curtains. in the middle
stay alert Baby, it's a crime Lesson learned Where you're on my mind It's a curse Not having you around I wasn't ready to say goodbye Fading lights I don't know how I feel And in my sight Nothing is for real But it's a fact Without you I'm half empty can't get over you, how hard I try So the moment I saw you, I lost some control One look into those eyes could keep my soul I'll be closer, but then suddenly you were gone of the kitchen's been done and I've pretty much hoovered in the hallway. I've tidied up all the shoes. As you probably saw, there was mountings of them. That was from what we'd used over the bank holiday weekend, obviously. And then obviously being back at preschool today with Clayton, he had more shoes than usual. I'm now just shaking out these rungs. I have one that goes under the stairs and one by the front door because the outside of our house is so dusty. And I'm just popping them in the wash with some trainers that Adam's been using outside that need a good wash. Now, normally I would aim to put a load of washing on of an evening and I would put it on in delay timer so that it's ready to be hung out in the morning. However, as you saw by the mounting of washing that was in my living room, I have been completely on top of washing this bank holiday weekend because the sun has been shining and I've managed to get about three or four loads done in a day, which is just ridiculous. Um, so I'm actually giving these good rugs a clean, which I'll normally try and do once a week. Once I've done that, I then obviously head on to mop in the kitchen and I also need to hoover the living room. And as you would have noticed, all the candles are on in my house to make it smell lovely and look cosy. You and me, let's make a deal Let everything we ever feel We gotta keep it in the flow And we gotta let each other know
So guys, that is it. That is my evening cleaning routine complete. Like I said, sometimes this will incorporate bath time. However, that's not happening tonight. That's happening in the morning. So I don't need to worry about that tonight. And also sometimes I'll put away washing and things like that. But like I said, none of that has happened this evening. So I've saved myself a few jobs. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then obviously please don't forget to like and subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell notification too so you're notified when I've got new videos coming out. I've actually got quite a lot of cleaning videos coming up soon so I'm sure you'll enjoy those. As well, don't forget to check out Lara's evening cleaning routine. I'll leave the link below for you to go and check her out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you all again for another video shortly. Baby, Bye guys. I shouldn't call you or leave a message at all. So I try to be patient Cause nothing's written on the wall Yeah, it's too soon to mention How I've begun to feel That I want your attention This time it is for real Oh baby, love me like you did last night I wanna